today we're in North Cornwall and I'm about to do an art demonstration. I've been craving this for ages and we have no wind and no rain. It's perfect. We're in a location near Travaux's Head and Constantine Bay. It's absolutely stunning. Now I've taken a look at the bay but I need to get down there a bit closer to paint that. I'm not going to worry about that. That's quite an epic scene. This is what I'm interested in. Come closer. This is a fantastic composition. We have tamarisk hedging. In the summer, it'll be full of dusky pinks all the way along. It's beautiful, the hedging, and it's growing out of the Cornish slate walls that they've built. And then behind it is the muted tones of the Atlantic Ocean and it's really calm today compared to yesterday. It's totally different. So this is what I'm going to paint. This perspective. You've got an angle as well going down the side. So it's not pink. I'm just going to paint it in its natural colours. But you can almost feel that pink coming through. Today I'm going to be demonstrating with a hog's hair brush, a three colour technique, wet in wet. We've got Pothello Blue in a Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolours. We've got a Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolours, Pyrrhal Scarlet and what's this one? Turn is Yellow, Windsor and Newton. So again, we apply the simplicity of that glow. It's a very pale yellow glow. And again, I'm leaving the slits of white. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Pothello blue with a little bit of the crimson So we've got a tiny bit of blue up in there, hardly any. But what I will do is go over with this pinky colour as well into that blue. Scarlet sort of ready colour. The sky today, it's going to be impossible to keep up with the changes of the clouds. It's probably changing very quickly as we speak. I'm just going to be skimming. Can you see how quickly I skim? Okay. And then again, leave a little bit of light, a little bit of a gap. The sea is, it's that quick. When you're painting outside, it's that quick. Let it feather, bring it across. I almost want to feel, instead of these greys that I'm seeing all the time, I want to feel the bluey turquoise shades. You can almost feel that coming through. So the most important thing is to get your background, get your sky, get the energy, get the light. You know, you've got those beautiful pale yellow tints in the sea beyond. I'm not looking at the detail of the tamarus hedging at all yet. Just want to get that simplicity of light there. Okay, there we go. A little bit there. So what we're going to do next is the hedging. There's quite a few different shades, but really I'm just going to use the shades of all three colours. So I'm probably going to use some of that earthy, reddy brown colour as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do I'm going to do this. Can you see that? Okay. And what I'm going to do is start tipping. Let's do that. And when you start tipping the pad just slightly, what you're doing is creating your detail over the top to give that 3D effect. 
of the head shrink. But what I want it to do is go up a bit higher, obviously. But it doesn't matter. I'm tipping again. I've got to work quick. It's actually really warm today. The midges are out here because um, you've got the tamarind um, uh, hedging. So they, that really attracts a lot of mosquitoes. It's a very warm area. You see what's happening? So you get the overlapping pathello blue mixed with the scarlet red and a bit of the lovely Turner's yellow. So you see that overlapping, can't you? I'm just going to get a bit more of a sort of browny, browny colour going on. I'm sweeping again and then every time I do that, I tip. Do you have to be quite patient with this? I might have get a little bit more liquid into there. Put that in there. Okay. Okay, so it's it's um I've got a tip again. There, okay, we're getting tipping. That's good. Right. It's a little bit happening on the end. What I'm going to do, so it looks like it's going off slightly there. I just want a little bit of that highlight of the this turn is yellow, green overlapping slightly there you scare it away What was it? Eagle. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to do again is try and get this I'm tipping. So it's all about how much paint you put on the paper. And it's all about the wetness as well. And it's a repetitive pattern. Keep treating it like that. Keep layering and overlapping the colors, just like you would do with an oil. But the most important thing is start off with the light colors, pastels, pale colors, then build the darkness and use the darkness for your detail. It doesn't matter, this is just an idea, this is a concept, it doesn't matter if it's not exactly what it is there. Because you just keep practicing. It doesn't matter if the shapes are slightly different. Now I'm going to just, again, just put a little bit of the red and again tip it. It's wonderful here. We can hear, when you haven't got any cars, total peacefulness. We've just seen a massive bird of prey fly over. 
And what's lovely is you've got the water from yesterday because it was, well, for the past few days we've had so much rain, but it's trickling all the way down from a natural spring somewhere, going down towards Constantine Lane to Bay's Head over there. And you know what? It's just absolute bliss when that wind dies down. It's hard to think that we were in Port Isaac yesterday and it was just so windy. It was hard to stand up. Okay, so it's still developing, it's still wet. So every time you move the paper, even if you just slightly move it that way, you're gonna get a different shape or different effect. It's all about those layers along your baseline. So it's still developing. It'll take quite a while for it to really see the outcome of this. And sometimes if you haven't put enough strength on along the baseline, then it could just fade out. Again, it's all to do with your paper as well. That's very important. And this type of paper is acid free and wood free. And it's Fabrino. It's Italian paper, it's absolutely gorgeous and it's got a lovely rough grain effect to it. So you get sort of patterns, you get a woven effect going on. It's very important as well to control the tipping because sometimes when I've taught this back in the studio with students, they've put too much, it's been too watery and what's happened is that it's all gone a complete mess and they've got no shapes at all and also it's gone totally over their sky. So I'm really happy with what I've achieved today, being outside in the Cornish, North Cornish air. And it's a, a fantastic place to come to, this area, because it's very accessible. Um, we've, we've cut across country from Weybridge through all the back lanes. And considering they've had so much rain and, and everything, and there was no branches down or no blockages and just a bit of mud on the road. but if you can cut across country through North Cornwall, it's just fascinating what you see. And you get so many, so much more variety than being along a main road. So today it's about capturing this lovely light. And sadly, the blue sky is fading and tomorrow we're gonna get a lot of rain in Cornwall. So you can see it's sort of building up already. Bye for now. <laughs>